Hello everyone, and welcome to my Bachelor official YouTube channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribers button and give this video a thumbs up. Joey Graziadi's Bachelor established a high standard for Golden Bachelor Season 1, which starred Jerry Turner and garnered the highest viewership for Bachelor Nation in the previous four years. Wishing that Jerry and Theresa Niss' five minutes of fame will end soon. Success, however, entails more than five minutes of celebrity. Loyal admirers in Indiana will soon get the opportunity to meet and greet him. Popularity continues for Theresa Nist and Jerry Turner. Even though the ABC couple comes across some trolls, it appears that they are largely insignificant. Many of them have non-existent postings and very little, if any, following. Most devoted viewers of Bachelor Nation are aware that there is controversy every season that makes headlines. The Resonist and Jerry Turner are still quite well-liked, and some of their admirers are hoping for a spin-off. They appeared on Live with Kelly and Mark before to the wedding, and they have had other interviews with major media sites. They receive freebies to promote, of course, and why not? That's something almost all reality TV stars do. Thankfully, they avoid going too far and boring their fans. Thus, there's a significant likelihood that attendees of the Golden Bachelor meet and greet will show up. Meet and greet for the Golden Bachelor event. This past weekend, word leaked out on Reddit that the Golden Bachelor lead would be attending a meet and greet. Visit Parkview Field and meet Jerry from The Golden Bachelor. Naturally, additional information was requested, so a community member provided more details. The San Diego Padres High A affiliate, the Fort Wayne Tin Caps, are a Midwest League minor league baseball team. Their home field is Parkview Field, and they are based in Fort Wayne, Indiana. A wine glass and game tickets are included in the VIP ticket package for the May 17 Love and Roses night. Jerry Turner might, of course, bring a few extras. The source of the advertisement is unknown, and it isn't included under May activities on the Parkview Field website. On the other hand, you can reach them at 1-260-482-6400. The May 17 game features pyrotechnics and is scheduled against the South Bend Cubs, according to the MILB website. Regarding Jerry Turner's meet and greet at the Fort Wayne Tin Caps Love and Roses Night, what are your thoughts? If you're nearby, will you make an effort to see him? Or have he and Theresa Nist, in your opinion, already had their five minutes of fame? Leave a note in the section below and return here for all the latest Golden Bachelor updates. Soon, a Golden Girl will have another opportunity to find love on reality TV, this time as the host of the program. The Golden Bachelorette, an upcoming senior dating series on ABC that is a spin-off of its most recent Bachelor spin-off, The Golden Bachelor is currently in development and is scheduled to debut in the autumn. At the Television Critics Association's Winter Press Tour in Pasadena, California, on February 10, the announcement was made. On the live televised special, The Golden Wedding, 72-year-old Jerry Turner, star of The Golden Bachelor, and 70-year-old winner, Theresa Nist, sealed the marriage one month prior. Their co-star Susan Knowles officiated the wedding which was attended by a large number of Bachelor Nation cast members. After a historic first season watching Jerry and Theresa find love on The Golden Bachelor, according to an ABC statement acquired by E! News, this all-new iteration of the hit series will highlight one radiant woman's second chance at love in her golden years. After 35 days of airing on both linear and streaming platforms, the Golden Bachelor's first season drew 43.4 million viewers overall, according to the Disney-owned network. It also ranked as the top new unscripted series this season among adults 18 to 49 
and became ABC's most-watched, unscripted series premiere on Hulu. The Golden Bachelorette's cast and host have not yet been revealed by ABC. Last week, Jess Palmer, the host of The Golden Bachelor and recent seasons of The Bachelor, The Bachelorette and Bachelor in Paradise, told E! News that he hoped a Golden Bachelorette series would be created and that several of the Golden Bachelor's contestants would make excellent candidates for the show's star. There are multiple women that would be phenomenal Golden Bachelorettes, he stated. There's some very deserving ladies from that season. Cherry agrees as well. Regarding the possibility of a Golden Bachelorette series, he expressed his hope for it to happen to E! News during the Golden Bachelor. Women tell all taping. However, I couldn't possibly suggest one of those 22 women as being superior to the rest. All of them would be excellent contenders for it. ABC also revealed that The Bachelorette would return for a 21st season on February 10 during the TCA's winter press tour. Check out the other programs that have been canceled or renewed so far this year. There's a sense of love in the air. Valentine's Day is rapidly approaching, and at Bachelor Nation, love is everything. Bachelor Nation thus provides ideas for asking your crush to be your Valentine if you're seeking for some motivation. Jess Gerard, a fan favorite from Bachelor Nation, asked her Instagram Stories audience if anyone had any adorable anecdotes about being asked by their partner to be their Valentine. These were my faz, sharing for those who asked. She added after sharing the comments. And I'm glad she did, because we still have time to think of some adorable ideas before the next week. We went to the beach at night and watched the stars when he asked me. One fan wrote, while another said, My boyfriend put together a scavenger hunt around our house and asked me at the end. So cute, Jess wrote. Date nights at the beach are the greatest. This is adorable. Another person said, My boyfriend made me the note card scene from Love Actually. To which Jess responded, He should get an award for that. This is a plus work. Jess exclaimed in response to a follower who stated, I'm a chronically cold person and my partner asked me by buying me a heated blanket. Additional suggestions included flowers, plush animals, a nice note, and Starbucks beverages with the phrase, will you be my valentine, on the cup. We adore every one of these suggestions, and maybe Jess has given someone the idea to politely ask their significant other to be their valentine. Thanks for watching if you like this video, so please don't forget to subscribe to my channel, and don't miss any updates.